Actually. You mean the the iron palm, if like an iron palm for that you can break bricks and stones and all that, you can also use that for to somehow gather poison or what? If, if you practice that in a different way, you will not only condition your hand that have destructive power, it have also a healing power. So that's why mm. most of the Kung Fu masters or the old Kung Fu masters, or by the way, me, for example, I am also a healer. I, uh, I have a clinic where I give people treatment with different kind of methods. And after the treatment, I can feel already. I just give somebody a massage on the shoulder and I feel also, ah, there's something. I suck it in, suck it in. Yeah, His disease, I got in my body. That needs to, uh, that needs to punched out, striked out in, in a different way. I have students that already follow me for many, many years, and uh, especially Asians. And if you are in Asia and you teach uh, Chinese arts like Kung Fu, Qigong, Neigong, then uh, you can't fool a Chinese because they have access to the books and they can read what is in the books written. You can't fool them. That is a part of the culture. Every Asian, when you face him, they know something about the acupuncture meridians, they know something about the different kind of breathing patterns, when, when to eat something, what to drink something, and, and what to actually do in the right time. So they know actually a female which have the MC period is not allowed to have ice cold drinks or even ice in general that in the Western world they will not understand because the culture is different. And my students, they follow me because they saw already something what actually they never saw before. But it shows only that our bioelectricity is there. We only need to develop them and to increase them. And that can be done do, uh, through different kind of exercises. When you follow what we already put in you know in these tutorials when you're not so this is the kind of you know, internal like uh, abilities if we talk about you know the testosterone and the fighting aspect but there's also the highly sort of that you can't really see that are, are not really for the sort of like destruction or it is it is not only breaking stones and and perform some tricks or even without tricks that you can smash and uh, slash granite blocks without shattering your own hand or become crippled. Look, I do this for nearly 30 years and my fingers are all intact and they're straight, not crunky, crooked or whatever. That is we always, always have people commenting like, you're going to have the arthritis and everything. And, and then I'm thinking, like, well, you know, you've been doing this already for what, 40 years or something <laughs> when, you, more. when you have these kind of methods and what I said, uh, the correct methods were delivered from generation to generation, from master to the next master, then you can practice these things without any, I would say, side effects. Which actually, again, people who are like to copying me, they use only the external medicine, the Dita jaw, yeah? Uh, that will be not enough. And people, they actually have no idea what deeper science is involved in that. It is not only you're hitting something hard and you can break something. It is through these kind of exercises and also through these kind of 
approaches with internal and external medicine, with internal and external energy development, then you can, you can still maintain a healthy body. That is one thing. The other thing is you can stimulate your body to a different level where you actually, where you actually can, from, from a small, short person, develop so much energy, you can use that to heal other people, not only healing yourself. You can also help others with your amount of energy. For example, people, they are doing Reiki, healing arts, magnetism, what, it, what they all call for. They can help people when they accumulate a tremendous amount of energy so that they can't even get sick when they give treatments to others. Because it is mostly when you are a massagist, for example, or do the chiropractic massage, whatever, you will always be in contact with people. And these people, they also release a kind of what we call in the Asia uh, field, they release also their sickness, their poison to the person who touched them. And that is only a protective thing where the old masters, when they practice uh, the massage to per people, they, they give a health, uh, I will say, treatment. And after that, they go into their small chamber and then they punch that iron palm to get rid of that poison what they sucked in the whole day through uh, from their clients, I, I would say, or from the patients. That actually... You mean the, the iron palm, if like an iron palm for that you can break bricks and stones and all that, you can also use that for to somehow gather poison or what if, do you... If you, if you practice that in a different way, you will not only condition your hand that have destructive power, it have also a healing power. So that's why most of the Kung Fu masters or the old Kung Fu masters, or by the way, me, for example, I am also a healer. I, um, I have a clinic where I give people treatment with different kind of methods. And after the treatment, I can feel already. I just give somebody a massage on the shoulder and I feel also, ah, there's something. I suck it in, suck it in. Yeah, His disease, I got in my body. That needs to... Uh, that needs to be punched out, striked out in, in a different way. Because we always have not only hormonal exchanges, we always have exchanges when we face somebody. And actually, you know these people, when you are full of energy, they like to be together with you. We call them the chi vampires, the energy mm -hmm. vampires. The people, they are always surrounded by, I would say, uh, um, very energetic people. They're always surrounded and they, they actually, they, they, they suck and they stay with that kind of energized person because their own energy is very less. And, yeah, yeah. and uh, even if you are a person you are you're a manager. You are uh, in a in, I will say in a uh, author uh, authoritarian position where you have your your way of speak, where you have people under you. Uh, the presence and the energetic aura, what we develop or even what we have, need to maintain or can be even increased. So that's why you can see these kind of managers in Japan. They're not only studying the art of war, the book, the Sun Tzu. No, they also do different kind of Aikido, Judo, Karate, uh, and what we see, Kendo, for example, they do the warrior arts to develop a different state of mind and also focusing and leading their energy in the correct direction. I mean, this kind of like high, like uh, high status people actually practice these things. Like it's no actually wonder because like we already talked about in the beginning, like how much that, you know, your body position, your posture and everything affects uh, and how it can be actually developed and how, you know, if you're like in this bad posture or something, that's, that also translates to people. Like anything that you kind of do with your body it portrays some kind of feeling or emotion to the other person. Like I think it's so infectious and I, I think that's also really 
incredible to think about perhaps that even in these healing things, you know, you get infected. I don't like, I'm not sure like how actually, but you can get like this, this different, uh, this is like emotions into you. You can get these different mindsets into you from another person. It's just like happens almost by itself. So it's quite interesting of course, to hear that there's also some healing applications on that. The healing application, you can see actually in our society, the, uh, especially during our, our time now, the COVID and all these kind of restrictions and breathing problems and um, we get attacked, yeah, not, we get mm. attacked in our respiratory system, yeah, so uh, for example, the lung system, the, the bronchial system, the, the everything, we are under attack and people, they, they found out with that kind of Qigong, Neigong teachings that there, there is a market they can do. There is actually a fashion in teaching Qigong and teaching Neigong. But we need to see um, for, for their own ego and for their greed, they put something in the market which have no evidence that it works. And, and uh, you can see already that uh, people are doing these kind of things and they're not only fooling themselves, they're fooling also the others. And, hmm. and actually, actually, there is no profound knowledge. And I would say uh, there is no profound, uh, uh, what do we say, evidence that these things is working. Yeah, I'm not sure like what are they recommending, like maybe there's some very superficial level, like some gymnastics stretching, but it is it is already there that people they have, uh, they're very, very versed in their in the way how they speak and how they how they talk and how they put uh, everything in a in a nice, beautiful way. And they have very beautiful lectures. But the mm. lecture is one thing, but the own ability is crucial, which you need to show that it really works, not only by talking, that we have already a lot. And people, I only can urge them, uh, don't trust everything what a person talk about, if there is no evidence of what he achieved. And that's why what I said, my students here yeah. in Asia, in Taiwan, they give a testimonial why they're learning already more than 10, 15 years with me. Because they saw different kind of abilities and saw already the evidence that the method what I approach and also what I give out, it's not only talking. I don't want to blow thing around. I don't want to show off around. I only want to remind a person who wants to learn these kind of things. They need to be sure about from who. First thing is they need to know what they want. So they need to know themselves. The second thing is they need to understand uh, the teacher. They need to know the teacher. What kind of ability and evidence can he provide? And then he need to know what kind of method he likes to learn. So these three knowings you need to understand. Know the teacher, know the movement, and know yourself. Most of the people, they're only following a fashion that uh, lead to learn the Qigong and also maybe can lead to distra disastrous result. So we can yeah, see... Because, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, I it, think like, it's not even, I think it's really, if people are telling like they can do this stuff, like you can do, like they're portraying like they have this ability, they have that ability and all of this like different stuff and when they don't, I think that's a, like a like a big problem because if you're just like saying, yeah, it'll make you feel better, you know, if you're just saying like that, maybe it fixes some tightness in you, like this kind of traditional benefits that you can get from exercise. But then like these people might listen to these guys only because they portray like they have this some kind of, I don't know, magical superpowers which no one has ever seen, no one has ever witnessed. And I think it's very common in this culture because people really, I think they're drawn towards this kind of abilities so much. So they want these people to have something like extra, even though that might not even be 
for I, my I, health I, and the best. I, I'm really sad about this because, look, I always say something like that, for example. I'm, I'm very disappointed also. No? I say, uh, not everyone with a driver's license can really drive. <laughs> Uh, that is, you know, because uh, you know that you mm. have a driver's license. It doesn't. Does it mean you can drive very well? Does you, it you doesn't tell that? everything. No. And these people, they also they give themselves the authority and they give themselves the the license to teach. Yeah? And actually, uh, there is still a big gap because they don't perform very well. So, if you want to learn a fighting art, you need to learn from a fighter. If you want to learn uh, how, to, how to fix a car, you need to go to the mechanic. And if you want to learn the breathing art, you need to go to a person who is very versed in the breathing methods. With, I will say again, with evidence that his method have different kind of results. And the result is not only looking good, Looking beauty, you know, that is not enough, yeah? because uh, ability is actually what we have, we are seeking for. Ability to re rejuvenate ourselves first, mm -hmm. and ability to help others with our different kind of, I would say, uh, encouragement and also the, the the will to help others. That is the first thing. Uh, and also our own ability. So that we need to have in mind that we need to seek for different standards. 